Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Andy and I'll be walking you through the material today. Today we're going to look at how to add some interactivity to your PDF and we're going to focus on bookmarks, links, and buttons to do this. And what you can see here is we have a PDF with a uh, um, Meridian Conference Attendee Guide and let's scroll through a little bit. You can see there's some different uh, bits of information here that uh, people might be interested in. So we're going to start with bookmarks and in the new Acrobat 10 interface we want to focus on the content panel. And that is under the tools pane here so I'm going to click the tools pane and then we have the pages panel which has a lot of familiar tools but I'm going to go down here to the content panel and you can see some information here. So right here at the top I have the add bookmark button. Now what does that do? If I click that button you'll see the bookmarks panel uh, bookmarks pane opens on the left side of the screen and there is now a new bookmark listed there if I click that twice I can rename it so I'll just name that title page and now if I click on whenever I click on that bookmark it will take me to this page let me scroll down to the next page real quick and if I add another bookmark you can see that I can then it also, uh, if this bookmark panel is open, it gives me the option to name it as I'm going. So then I can type that in. If I move to a different page and then click on, say, the title page, it takes me back to the title page. This also works with views. So if I want to zoom in on something specific, so let's see if we can find the schedule. Let's say I just wanted to use my zoom tools. Just zoom in a little bit here and add a bookmark. I can click away and click back and you'll see that I'm zoomed in at that level. I'm going to remove that bookmark. I can just hit delete to do that. And I'm going to click the welcome page icon again. So let's scroll down a little bit and talk about links. Links allow us to add um, a link to either a separate web page or another part of the document. So let me click the link tool here and I do this by pressing and dragging around the object I want to be clickable. So I can press and drag around this and it gives me some information here. I can make this visible or invisible. I'll make it invisible. And what do I want to happen when someone clicks it? I will have it uh, outline. And I can have it open a web page, but today I'm just going to have it go to a page view. And now I have to find the page I want to move to. So I want it to move to right here where there's information about wireless internet access so I will click set link there and now if somebody clicks on that then it will move to the to that particular page so if I click the hand icon here I can view this as the end user would be viewing it and if I click that it will take me to that individual page the last thing I want to show you is how to add a button so let me go to the schedule here and if I click the uh, button icon here I can press and drag an option here so I'll just place a button here and I will name this um, schedule button and I'll double click the button and get some information about it and I can change the appearance and I can actually change the fill color so it doesn't have any color at all and the options field here we have access to the label uh, field which uh, the end user will actually be able to see that's what will be printed on the button so I'll type print schedule because that's what I want people to be able to do when they click this button and then I will click the actions button here the actions tab and have it execute a menu item you can see there's actually lots of different things we can have this button do but I'll just have it execute a menu item I'll click add and uh, I will have it print and click OK and then click close and when I click my hand tool you can see that the print schedule icon appears uh, the print schedule button appears I can click that and then the print options appear you'll also notice there's a multimedia button here that will be covered in another video but that is all for today I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching